Hello YouTube land, it's another day here in the farm and another farm stay is over nice to have like new friends and you know uh, realizing that you have the same um, interests in life and uh, in this uh, visit we are into farming and they are uh, not a neighbor but like neighbor province which is like uh, a little more than an hour a ride distance on today our piglets turned one day old <laughs> yeah and mama is recovering and slowly very slowly like she still doesn't like to stand up but she's eating not her grains just uh, water spinach and uh, bananas she loves it and she doesn't like like yesterday on on like right after her delivery she ate uh madre de agua but today she doesn't like madre de agua so i gave her spinach water spinach and she's fine with that like she ate heaps so i'm happy about that and she started to drink water today so she's got more milk like this morning and noon time she's squirting with milk so babies are happy, babies are asleep at the moment. It's gonna be water time soon for William and uh, water time for my babies and uh, maybe water time for Mama Pig also. So all good so far. However, um, first thing in the morning, I tried to call the boar guy who usually does the uh, trimming of teeth and tails. Because this morning, guys, they already like um, playing and uh, pulling each other's tails. And also, with their teeth, Mama is uh, reacting so bad on how, especially the big ones. Uh, she's like, you know, she gets shocked whenever she feels that uh, sharp teeth of the babies. So, uh, we usually do, uh, do that on th between third and fifth day so yeah it's uh first day today so yeah we schedule that soon and um uh also the removal of uh the nuts so that was that oh and iron shots and uh, today their color is looking really pinkish i'm gonna insert a little clip later when i took a video of them earlier yeah and um yeah they're so pink like before we had um i think that was iron issues uh from previous litters but this time guys they are just so pink like you would not believe they are so pretty pink but this time guys sad news really well i've i've heard this few days ago or like last week i think that was that there is already a declared case in our um area however that was just one case when at the time that i heard it but when i called the pig technician today i was told he cannot do it because he's not allowed to do it his area is some um, pigs like it was shown in some videos of william his pigs are all down from the african, african swine, swine flu fever is scary yeah. right um it can really kill the, you know the full stocks of any um pig farm so is that allowed i understand that and so i called the pig technician of the brand that we're using uh which is bmeg 
um, and I was told yesterday uh, the DA representative, the Department of Agriculture representative, called him because there's another area near us that's infected also by African, the African swine, swine fever. fever. So that's uh, I I was and you know like I was doing I was feeding the babies for the you know squirting milk and then i was thinking you know my my mind went uh everywhere like how are you gonna do this like the iron shots it has to be done uh as soon as possible the teeth also because mama is really complaining so bad with the, the with the with the bigger ones you know attacking her her teeth so like ugh, how how are we gonna do that and also the tails because right now the kids from being bored waiting for mama pig to call them they are just chasing each other's tails and the uh, umbilical cords like they are attacking each other with these lengthy <laughs> tails and um umbilical cords so like how are we gonna do this and then a few minutes later our friend our very good friends Ratan Noel from Panabo and Ati Bless came and they are blessings in disguise. <laughs> you know what? Noel has a pig farm when he was in New Zealand and he told us that he do all this like for over a hundreds of pigs in their farm so he will do it for us check that out soon it's gonna be either in my channel or William's channel yes yeah, so we are happy we we are so happy and relieved that we have um, friends who you know who have these uh, skills <laughs> because we've never done this like you know we've only been farming since um, you know when William came back from, well we have pigs before William came back uh, uh, from Vietnam but like we had Gulut then and from that time uh, it's the boar guy who's doing or the, the brand technician the brand pig technician doing are doing all this type of stuff so um, we never you know like we never trained ourselves <laughs> there are seminars out there I know like they give free training and seminars for doing this stuff and usually the the brands of feeds are the ones uh, giving the seminars and trainings but um, for us there was not any chance yet so we just depend really on the technicians so this time because we like we are like oh what we're gonna do what we're gonna do <laughs> Lucky we've got no. We schedule it next week because uh, we we still have schedules of um going back to the hospital for William's tests, more tests. Yeah, so uh, we'll have to see. Uh, tentative our tentative schedule is Wednesday, so yeah, we'll see about that. So it's feeding time, guys. Water time for William also, cleaning time for me at the goat's, goat's house. And uh, rain is starting to drop, a little drops. It's been like this since uh, past one o'clock and it's still not heavy, but it's super hot. So um, there's nothing we can do but deal with it. 